day to viewers, the Colonel speaking to you live from the Price Center of British Imperial YouTube Broadcasting. Today, an historic record. And this is his master's voice, B3677, Great Nights in the Theatre, by Agate. And spoken by James Agate, or Agate, uh, who was the theatre critic in the 20s and 30s. Wrote some very odd sort of diaries called Ego. Here we go. Great Nights in the Theatre. I should like to have been standing in the pit of a little wooden theatre on that night 300 and more years ago when Macbeth first came with the daggers from Duncan's chamber. I should like to have heard Hamlet put for the first time the most famous of all questions. I should like to have seen Queen Elizabeth toss her vain little head on detecting the first compliment paid her by the new playwright Master William Shakespeare, or have heard for the first time Marlowe's Oh, thou art fairer than the evening air, clad in the beauty of a thousand stars. Or seen the actor who first played Faustus stretch out his arm and point to the sunset at the world, see, see where Christ's blood streams in the firmament. I should like to have seen Charles II pinch the ear of Nell Gwynne and lend his own to the comedies of Etheridge and Witchery. To have seen Garrick starting from Richard's dream with that look which Hogarth has shown us. To have heard Colly Sibber improvise his famous Richard himself again and off with his head so much for Buckingham. And shouldn't we all like to be going to the theatre tonight to see for the first time Charles Surface throw down that screen and hear Sir Peter's lazy people by all the damnable. Let me take you to Drury Lane on a bitterly cold winter's day, that of January 26, 1814. There has been a rehearsal of The Merchant of Venice with a new actor in the part of child, an actor who is undersized, pale, moody, restless, and poor fellow half cow. This afternoon, this actor will dine, a rare thing for him, that he may have the strength to play at night. It is Edmund Keane. I should like to have been in the house on that night when the little man who had been child acrobat, pantomimic, tightrope dancer, and animal impersonator, came into his own as the greatest of English tragedians. I should like to have returned with him to his poor rooms in Cecil Street, to have seen him clasp his wife and child to his bosom, to have heard him say, Mary, you shall ride in your coach yet, and you, Charles, you shall go to Eton. Next, look in with me at the Haymarket Theatre on that night in April, 1864, when Southern first played David Gannett. And again at the Prince of Wales is in the following year when Mary Wilton, afterwards Lady Bancroft, produced Society, Tom Robertson's first cup and saucer comedy. But I must be brief. I have had my great nights in the theatre. I have heard Irving say, I had a lion killed once. And I have seen Ellen Terry dance to Miss Beatrice's star. I have marveled at Mrs. Kendall's humor and paper. Thirty years ago, I saw Sir Johnson Forbes Robertson and yet. Yesterday, I saw Jean Forbes Robertson Jr. Who would not be a dramatic critic? Well, there we are, viewers. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Thank you and goodbye.